here of CFM 88.9. That is one of my favorite guitarists, Mark Knopfler. But we have something very important to talk about here. I have Casey Kraft from Pooter High School in with me. How are you doing, Casey? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Excellent. And then what we're talking about today is the Feed Our Families food drive. Um, can you elaborate a little more on that and uh, the time frame and then what, what this is all about? Yeah, so the Feed Our Family food drive is a huge food drive that uh, Pooter High School over here in Fort Collins um, puts on. And it feeds over a 1,000 families with um, over two weeks' worth of food. And it's a huge, huge food drive. It's one of the top in the nation, and it's all student-ran and um, initiated. Top of the nation, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. And then what is the, what is the time frame for this? Yeah, so we started two weeks ago. Um, you'll see us out in front of the stores handing out slips. And it's going to go until December 8th is the distribution day where I hand out all the food to the families. Okay. And then what are some popular locations? We've got um, people positioned at most stores all throughout Fort Collins um, and Wellington as well. And so, you know, you'll see us out there. Most of us are repping Pooter gear. So that's how you can kind of tell us apart from those other groups. Okay. And then is this going to be very specific grocery stores or just are in pretty much all of them? King Supers? What do we... Yeah, so it'll be like uh, King Supers, you know, Ridley's over in Wellington. Um, we got Safeways, uh, a couple Sam's Clubs uh, on a couple weekends. But, yeah, mo- like I said, most grocery stores. Um, Walmart, I think we got this year, too, as well. So Okay. And is this we're going to be bringing actual food, or can we make a donation as well? Yeah, donations are accepted. Um, if you go on to the Pooter High School webpage, which you can g- find just by Googling Pooter High School in Fort Collins, sure. and uh, call that number that's on there, and it'll send you to our office staff. And they're great staff, and they'll direct you to, to who you can contact if you want to make a donation. Okay, so they, if they don't want to, let's say it's a really cold day and they don't want to get out, they can get online and make a donation. Yeah, correct. Okay, very cool. Uh, what what are some other little details? I know you had a pretty good little rap sheet there. and. Yeah, so also, I mean, if you're not interested in um, donating any money or um, food, we also help with canning shifts. Um, So you can actually sign up to can and collect cans, and then we just accept those uh, Monday morning in in the school. And so if you bring those by Monday morning, we'll uh, we'll take those and we'll sort those and get those to the families that need them. So that you can get down to the nitty-gritty and really get your hands dirty and, and really put in some man hours. Yeah, for sure. And probably meet some great people along the way as well. Oh, yeah. You, you always meet um, super kind people that, that'll give you a whole shopping cart of food. And it's really just life-changing knowing that um, they're making a huge difference in the Fort Collins community, uh, affecting people and families from, from all walks of life. And, and you told me a, a statistic that was a little bit alarming to me. Was it something like 37%? Of students are in need of, of this sort of support? Yeah, so um, 38% of reported students, again, this is just students that are reported or filled out the paperwork, are on free and reduced lunch here at Pooter. Okay. Um, basically, that what that means is that they're, they're getting the lunch paid for or partially paid for. Um, yeah, so that, that their families can't afford it, and it's all based on income. So whatever their family's income is, then they kind of make, you know, are able to get, be either receive free and reduced lunch if they fill out this, this paperwork. And you said there's actually a, a fairly large uh, homelessness within, yeah. within high school. Yeah, so at Pooter, there's um, 50 homeless students um, here at Pooter, and you can't really pick them out of the crowd um, for sure, you know. And by homeless, we mean, you know, they're bouncing from friend to friend's house, um, right. living, in, living in their cars or their parents' cars. So they don't have a set home, right. basically. So not the perfectly ideal situation, especially with the holidays coming around. It's that's got to be a tough uh, time for that situation. Yeah, definitely. Well, very good. Um, so w- once again, let's just let people know uh, you're going to be at most of the grocery stores, and how can they identify? Is it going to be pretty obvious? Yeah, so it'll be pretty obvious. As I mentioned, we'll be wearing uh, pooter gear, okay. uh, pooter shirts, pooter hats, and whatnot. And as you walk in the store, we'll be handing you some slips, kind of some of the stuff that we're looking for. And it also has a little spiel about what Feed Our Families uh, food drive is in case you forget. Okay, so you can you can come up there empty-handed, go to the store, and then come out and then donate that. That's yeah. For, yeah. Very cool. And then once again, he, he did say earlier that you can go to the, the Pooter High School website, which would be pretty easy to find if you just Google it. And then you can make a donation online if you don't feel like physically coming out. 
And then w- once again, when is the canning thing again? Yeah, so um, we'll can every weekend. Um, Fridays we do it after school, so roughly about 4 till 5 o'clock, 4 to 6 o'clock. Okay. And then um, Saturday and Sunday as well, we'll be out starting about 8 o'clock and going till about 5 o'clock that night. Um, we'll have students out there um, canning and collecting cans, trying to fee- meet our goal of 950 families this year and to raise over $15,000. Um, and this money goes towards buying fresh food for the families. So w- milk, you know, meats, egg, cheese, vegetables, fruit, all that sort of stuff. So um, that's where that money goes to. And so you can also um, help us out with money at the stores. So if you don't feel like donating cans at the stores, you can help us out with some money as well. Right. So th- you've got a lot of options. This, this sounds like a great thing that you're doing. And we have an entire month. So you said until December 8th. So we've got a lot of time to, to come out and donate um, at, at the stores and, and or online. So it uh, sounds like you're doing a fantastic thing. I just want to make sure I'm not leaving out uh, any details here. Yeah, and I can go through a little bit too of the process sure, yeah. with you. Um, so basically what happens is Monday morning, the student council members is, as well as um, teachers who just want to help out, they'll bring their class downs uh, to the commons or the cafeteria over at Poudre High School. And so then we'll have all the cars that collected food over the weekends back up to the, to the commons. We'll unload all that food. And then we'll sort it by what sort of food it is, you know, cans, um, crackers, oatmeal, cereal. We'll all sort that. And then right. we go through and make the family boxes. So we, we put like three boxes of cereal in each box, some cans. Um, sure. And then we also collect uh, toilet paper and, you know, feminine products as well. Just sure. so they have that. And that, those will be handed out distribution day, which again is December 8th. Um, and so the, the whole, this whole school year, we're collecting those. Um, we're making those family boxes and then storing them in the school until uh, distribution day. Very nice. So it doesn't just have to be cans. Yeah. That sort of thing. Well, uh, this sounds like something you should be very, very proud about, and Pooter High School should be very proud of, I think. I just want to make sure we're not leaving out any details right now. Um, again, this is a student-initiated thing, so okay. um, teachers definitely help out. Um, students run this, though. Ten percent of students help out um, by doing donating their time, canning shift-wise, um, and it's great great way to you know clubs can help out um, as sure. well as specific individuals and families. And so it's a great time to hang out with friends and go canning, and um, it really just supports the whole Pooter community. Uh, we have a saying at Pooter actually called Mbutu. Um, basically what it means is I am who I am because of who we are. Um, and it's an a- actually an African word. And so students who help out, they're supporting this. You know, one person's um, success is everyone's success here at Pooter. One person's failure is everyone's failure. So if one of us is struggling, uh, we're all struggling. So we really make it our goal at Pooter to, to help pick those people up and um, using the Mbutu culture. Very good. Well, uh, Casey Kraft, I think you should be very proud of yourself proud of your friends and, and proud of everyone involved in this. And you can get involved in this. Um, so you, you can make a donation online or head out to uh, many different uh, grocery stores all the way until December 8th and make a difference, a uh, positive difference, especially during the holidays, which can be a tough time for people. Yeah, for sure. Very good. Are we leaving anything out? Um, I think that's pretty much everything. So Okay. Very cool. Casey Kraft, thank you so much for coming in. Pooter High School doing an awesome thing. Feed Our Families Food Drive. Uh, you can find that easily online, or you can head out to just about any grocery store. Uh, you're not going to be able to miss these guys. They're going to be all over you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on.